Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and in this video we're going to look at line charts. They are extremely common especially with time series data. The line chart simply connects consecutive observations of any numerical value um, with a line. Um, usually we look at it to track changes of the value of the variable over time. So I've got uh, 2020 to 2023 um, stock prices for Apple and GM. So I'm going to begin by highlighting column headings and then I'm going to hit control shift and my down arrow and you'll see that that simply selected all the data in <clears throat> those two columns. I'm going to come up to insert I'll go to my line chart. I just want a plain 2D line chart, nothing fancy, but I've got some work left to do. So I'm going to come up to chart design. I'm going to say select data and on this horizontal um, axis you'll see it's simply the periods, right? So I'm going to hit edit, axis label range. And I'm just going to select from here all the way down and then I'm going to say OK. Now what you can see is I've got my dates right for each month of the year. <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to format that vertical axis by getting rid of my decimal places. I'm going to replace that with a zero and I'm going to say enter. Now I'm going to double click on chart title and I'm going to title it Apple and GM stock prices 2020 to 2023. All right. <clears throat> um, next item is this legend. I want this legend to appear up here in my chart. So I'm just going to make it smaller and then make it bigger so that they'll go right on top of one another and put that right there. You all know I want is axis titles. So along this I don't want to label that one because we know what that is but we don't know what this is. This is stock price in dollars. So, so I clearly have the dates, right? I clearly have the stock price in dollars labeled. I know what two stocks are represented. I have a legend right? and I am good to go. So that's all there is to it. I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.